Hi everyone, my name is Alain Provo from Solid Experts. Welcome to the digital manufacturing suite of our tips and tricks. So we were talking about SolidWorks Cam, and this is our second segment of that uh, portion of the series. So in the um, SolidWorks Cam standard features, we're going to jump inside SOLIDWORKS and see uh, just uh, a, a few of the uh, uh, how to get inside SOLIDWORKS CAM and maybe create a simple feature. So come with me and we'll jump into SOLIDWORKS to do that. All right, so once we are inside our SOLIDWORKS, um, this is the assembly that we're going to use the whole series. So let's open up that part and quickly see how we can work SOLIDWORKS CAM standard inside our SOLIDWORKS. You see, I already have my SOLIDWORKS CAM toolbar here. So if it's a no show, just simply go into your add in and activate the SOLIDWORKS CAM. Simply start it up here. All right. You will have three brand new thumbnails inside your three feature. And, and in there, you'll see that, uh, I have in those thumbnails, the, uh, managing of SolidWorks CAM. So features, tools, and path and uh, functions will be showed in there. So here I've chosen my machine. I'm choosing the tool crib and also the post processor I'm going to use. So maybe a Fanuc 10 here will be just fine. So I'll select it and that's it. Machine wise, tool wise, I'm ready to go. Next step would be the stock managing. Well, there's a nice tool inside SolidWorks Cam to manage the stock. I can manage the stock in many different ways. So me here, I'm using the SolidWorks uh, bounding box, very easy. And I'll be able to add materials in the X, Y, and Z direction very easily in one direction or two direction. So it's at the tip of, a, <laughs> of the fingers on your mouse. It's kind of easy to do. So maybe I'll just add a little bit at the bottom here because I'm missing maybe one millimeter for the grip on my part. And that's it. Stuck is done. Maybe the coordinate system now needs to be done. So next thing is going to be to adjust the coordinate system. It's going to be very, very easy because I'm going to use the bounding box of the stock material. Oh, right here. You see it's using the part bounding box, but now I'm going to use the stock bounding box simply by choosing the dot is going to realign the coordinate system and I'm ready to go. So on this part, I'm going to do a simple feature. I'm going to do a, a, a surface milling on the part. And to be able to do that, well, I first need to create a per perimeter of the part to be able to do a surfacing. So let's go in there, right click, part perimeter. It's going to automatically find the bounding box of the stock. And I'm going to choose simply up to the part and it's going to know automatically how it's going to be uh, taking material out. So right now that's done. And now I create a feature. Right click, milling, face mill. Again, it's going to ask me which tool I'm going to want to use. I'm going to use a face mill tool. Accept it. It's going to bring it inside the window so I can actually see if it's going to be okay that tool. So I'm sizing half of the diameter. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good because uh, in three pass, it's going to do it. So I create the tool path. One click, it's done. And I see the route, the path is there. And if I want, I can analyze the path as well. I simply go here. And as you can see, the yellow lines are the tool um, direction. 
and I can also see the dots where it's going to uh, go inside the, the material and the next move of my tool. So uh, many tools are in there to be able to uh, manage how we visualize things inside the SOLIDWORKS CAM. Now it's time for me to actually simulate the material removal. And right here, I had only just one millimeter to remove. I go check and I know I'm at the right amount of material removed since it's green. So I know it's going to be all right. Now maybe it's going to be a good time to get our post process code. So at the tip of a click, I'm going to be able to save it where I need, maybe in the project, maybe some somewhere else, no problem. And I can ask SolidWorks also that once he creates the code to open it in the CAM NC editor. So I created the code. It's all written here very quickly, except it's open, ready to be modified if it needs to, or sent to the machine with the stock to be able to create our part. So a few simple uh, steps to do it. Well, I hope this will show you that it's easy to use SOLIDWORKS CAM standard.